Hi everybody, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in with another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about how to archive and delete a single contact. Alright, so one of the biggest questions we always get is, I'm trying to add in a contact and it's coming up specifying that this contact is already in our backend. But when I search for the contact, it's not actually displaying. Alright, now most of the time that typically means that that contact is more than likely over inside your archives and it'll need to be deleted. So we want to show you the proper way to actually go through and delete your contact. Now, whenever you delete it, it will officially delete everything on there. So make sure that you're, you know, it, don't, don't, I guess, should I say, don't take this with a grain of salt, take this with a grain, yeah, don't take this with a grain of salt, I guess is the best way to say it. All right, because in this case, there's basically a fail safe is what I always say. The reason you have to archive and then delete the contact is because it's basically saying, are you sure you want to delete it? All right, so I always love that part whenever I say, hey, you need to archive it and then delete it. I know it's technically an extra step, but I personally love it. All right, so in order to actually delete or archive and then delete a contact, we're going to sign into our command account like we are right now. And we're going to click on the contacts option on the left-hand side up here. So once we click on that contacts option, we're going to have a couple different things that will pop up. Obviously, first and foremost, we're going to see all of our different contacts on here. We'll be able to go through. We can edit our contacts. You can always click on the little three dots on the right-hand side on here. So a couple ways that you can archive it. Number one, we can click the three dots on the right-hand side, and we can click that archive button. All right, or two, if you did want to archive one or even multiple contacts, all right, we could check the box to the left-hand side of the contact. And if you notice, as long as you check at least one box, this bulk action option will pop up on here. All right, so now if I go through and I specify under the select bulk action that I want to archive it, it's going to show it right up here, second option. So if I click on archive, it's going to say, are you sure you want to archive it? So this is basically step one. Are you positive you want to archive this? This is already giving us a fail safe immediately to make sure we're doing it properly. All right, so now I've gone through. Bailey Smith has been successfully archived. All right, and then step two, I'll want to click on my name up here at the top right. And I'm going to click on the settings option. All right, that about that third option down on here. This is where we'll be able to get inside our back end of our settings where we can actually edit everything even further, including deleting the archives. All right, so once we do that, then we're going to see first and foremost here are all of our integrations, but we're going to select command settings over here on the left hand side. All right, and then we're going to see contacts. We're going to click on contacts under command settings, and then we're going to have a couple options. All right, the first one's going to say contact archive, which is the one we're going to focus on today. Now you can also wipe your database on here. All right, so if you happen to have multiple archive contacts, maybe you have 100, 200, you know, a thousand archive contacts, this will be a quicker way to actually go through and archive them all at once. Because the contact archive section that we're going to focus on will allow us to only show at this time. All right, at this time, it's only going to allow us to show up to 50 contacts. Now, since I only have one contact on here, this is perfect. This is, you know, fantastic. We're going to go on here. So once I see my archive contact, I have two options. Option number one, I can click the little trash icon on the right-hand side. So if I'm just deleting one contact, this is perfect. Or if I'm deleting multiple contacts, I can click the checkbox at the top left up here to select all of them, or I can put the check inside the box to the left-hand side of the contact. And then if you notice, we're going to have the option to restore the selected. So once again, this is that fail safe. So if you didn't mean to archive it, you can unarchive it immediately. Or we can also go through and delete the selected you know, contact permanently. All right. So once I click on the OK option on here, we're done. And that's it. All right. So that way we can archive and delete, whether it's one contact, whether it's multiple contacts. This will make it a little bit easier. But there is that fail safe in there. All right. So you will need to archive the contact first and then delete. All right. So if you ever contact or if you ever saying, I want to delete some of my contacts on here, I want to add inside some new ones or I want to start fresh. All right. It is a two step process, but it's a two step process to ensure that you are 100% positive that you want to delete this. So there you go. 
So that is your KDB command tip for the day.